Keith! <laughs> Keith, did you do these problems? Did you do these ones? Did you? OK. So what I'd like to do, guys, is um, again, let's go and start with R. All right. So when we're looking and doing a problem like this, what, and we still have a couple more things to go through. But when we're looking at a problem like this, what we want to do is look at where, what is the opposite and the adjacent side from R. OK, Taylor? And when we're looking at the opposite and adjacent side, remember, the hypotenuse is the easiest one, 26, right? So I should see 26 on the bottom of these two. Perfect. Now let's look at R. Forget about S for a second. We'll do the S's next. At R, what all we're concerned about, Jared, is what is the side length that connects my angle R to the right angle? What side length connects my angle R to the right angle? That is 24, right? And we call that side length adjacent or opposite, Tommy. Which one do you think it is? Exactly. That's why you need to be paying attention and not doing that homework. Adjacent. The side that connects your angle to the right angle is what we call the adjacent side. So if that's adjacent, I know it took me a while actually too. So if that's the adjacent, you can see that this side length is your opposite, right? Because that's always going to be your um, that's always going to be your hypotenuse. So when you look at sine of r, sine of r says opposite over adjacent, right? I'm sorry, opposite over hypotenuse. So is the opposite side of r 24? No, it's actually adjacent. So it actually should be. 10, and then this should be 24. Then we look at tangent, which is opposite over adjacent. And this one is actually, they actually have adjacent over opposite. So that should be 10 over 24. Now, what's really cool, though, is it looks like the other student, whoever did the green, got that one right. And we can make sure, though, we got to be careful. Again, forget about what is adjacent and opposite. You're going to have to erase it because you don't want to get confused. So I now write up S. Now I can say that this side length this side length connects my angle to my right angle. So we call this one now, that's a horrible one, adjacent. And now this is my opposite when I'm talking about angle S. So we double check their work. Opposite over, opposite over hypotenuse, perfect. Adjacent over hypotenuse, perfect. Opposite over adjacent, perfect. Okay. Now what I want you guys to notice is when we did numbers, notice how these are very similar to each other. right? They're very similar, but they're not exactly the same. Okay. They're similar, but not exactly the same. Oh, I thought you were clapping.